Hey, if you've ever wondered how to make money with webinar marketing, and if you'd like to learn how to make money with webinar marketing in 2021 and beyond, be sure to stick around and watch today's video through until the very end, as I'm about to reveal to you three simple tips to maximize your profits with webinar marketing in 2021 and beyond. With that said, if this is your first video, my name is Mish Wilson, and over the course of the last few years, I've done over $15 million in total sales online, and one of the biggest sales mediums that I've used to close literally millions of dollars in sales at this point and have my record day of $100,000 in a single day from one single webinar presentation is well just that, webinars. And so everything I'm gonna share with you here today is out of actual experiential applied knowledge versus theoretical knowledge. I'm about to share with you the three biggest tips that once again, make a webinar performance and presentation absolutely crush it. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Welcome to the Misha Wilson Show, where we show you how to create massive success online so you can enjoy the lifestyle of your wildest dreams. All right, so with that said, firstly, before we touch on the three tips, I wanna talk about why webinars and why webinars are so powerful. So you have to look at the online world and the traditional sales world and kind of look at why each one of the various worlds are powerful and how webinar marketing kind of combines the two, right? So the online world is amazing and it's awesome because you can literally put a sales message up there and you can reach literally hundreds of thousands of people without ever actually really having to talk to anyone one-on-one, -on -one, right? You can put up a video sales letter and hundreds of thousands of people can see it without you ever having to sit down and walk someone through a presentation and answer objections and overcome objections and bring people you know, to the close and use the guarantee, et cetera. You don't have to do it in person, right? So that's what's amazing about the online world. And if we look at the traditional sales world, well, what's amazing about the traditional sales world is that while you have to do it in a one-on-one -on -one fashion, once again, or even over the phone, you can do all of those various things, right? You can address objections that come up during your presentation that you might not have thought about before putting the presentation together. You can really build a connection with the person, build more rapport with someone individually in a one-on-one -on -one setting. You can you know, have a conversation with someone based on specifically who they are versus kind of the general demographic, target market, and customer avatar that you've gone ahead and defined, right? And that's what makes you know, phone sales, in-person sales, and any kind of sales that are a little bit more personal, event sales as an example, extremely powerful because it is just that, more personal. And why webinars are so awesome is because you can marry the two, right? You can have a one-to-many webinar, meaning you can have 500 people on the webinar, but at the same time, you can ask the attendees questions. You can get questions, you can overcome objections right there live on the call when someone has an objection. If you overcome the objection for one person, chances are a bunch of other people have that same objection, and you can overcome that objection at the exact same time for everyone at once, right? So why I love webinars is because they're the best sales medium to sell you know, to a bunch of people, hundreds of people, thousands of people potentially, while still being extremely personal and without really losing that personal feeling. And that's why they're so powerful, right? So if you have ever, you know, wondered, should I use webinars, should I not use webinars, et cetera, you absolutely wanna use them if you wanna make more money in your business. So with that said, now that we know why webinars are so powerful, let's touch on the three keys to really creating a presentation that absolutely crushes it. Now, the first key is all about, you know, getting people to actually register and then getting people to show up. And secret number one is very simply, have a really strong and compelling hook. All right, so the hook is the reason why someone's gonna register for your webinar, take an hour and a half, two hours out of their day to attend your webinar. Why should someone do that? It has to be about the benefit for that actual individual. So the best way to come up with a hook is firstly to know your target market, obviously, but then secondly, to create and craft a hook having to do with being able to get your audience towards their big pleasure without their big pain. All right, so, Let's just use the network marketing world as an example. We could host a webinar where it's how to recruit 
rejection free, right? So without a pain, how to recruit rejection free without ever having to pick up the phone. So we're telling them, we're going to teach them how to recruit people into their business rejection free. That's the dream for them, right? How to get them towards pleasure without pain, without ever having to pick up the phone. Network marketers, you tell them they got to pick up a phone, they immediately associate it with a bunch of rejection, painful feelings, and stuff they've gone through in the past that they never want to go through again. So the first key is to have a really compelling hook to get people registered and then not only get them registered, but get them to attend. All right. You also want to have consistent email reminders leading up to the webinar, reinforcing the big hook, reminding them of the big hook, the big thing they're going to learn how to do without the big pain that they want to go ahead and avoid. So firstly, be crystal clear in your market. And then secondly, make sure that you have a good hook. And that's kind of the opening portion of your presentation. From there, make sure that even if the goal of the webinar is to go ahead and make sales, make absolutely sure that your webinar provides a ton of value-based content that is actually going to help your person who's on the webinar, whether or not they buy. All right. This is a key portion of really the thing that's going to allow you to actually make more sales. So what tends to happen is people get on a webinar or for any, you know, sales medium for that matter, this could be a launch campaign. It could be a video sales letter. It could be an email sequence and they don't know who you are, right? They don't have a bond built with you. They don't have a relationship built with you if they're cold traffic that is. And when they don't have a bond, when they don't have a relationship, when they don't have that stuff already pre-built, what tends to happen is they are very skeptical, right? They might have a desire for the thing that you're going to offer at the end of the webinar, but they don't have trust with you as the person who's going ahead and selling it. And it's not always just about the product. Oftentimes it's about the person who's actually selling the product. If they really like the product, but they don't like the person selling the product, they're going to go buy that product from someone else. And so during your webinar, when you're giving away high quality value based content, and when you're genuinely helping your customer get from point A to point B, helping them to solve their biggest problems on that webinar, what's going to happen is two things. Firstly, your level of trust with the customer is going to increase as you provide more value to the person on the webinar. They're looking at you, so they're saying, oh wow, this person's the real deal. This person's actually helping me. This person's you know, giving a bunch of results in advance. This person is genuinely giving good content that truly helps which once again helps with trust. And then if you do it correctly, as you go ahead and share content on the webinar and you're sharing, you know, showing them how it works, showing them how the program works that you might be selling, showing them testimonials of the various program participants that have gone ahead and gone through this in the past. As you're into that portion of the content, simultaneously along with trust, desire is built. And so, you're starting a webinar with a very cold group of people who might not know who you are, might not you know, like you, trust you, any of that. And by the time the webinar is done, if you've done things correctly, you will have built desire and you will have built trust, two things that are absolutely paramount if you wanna make sales within your online business. And how you do that is you make sure that you give good content. Now, the one thing I'll say, the biggest mistake that most people make is they get way too far in the weeds. All right, so how you wanna train on a webinar is from a 30,000 foot what to do, not necessarily how to do it. So if you wanted to show someone how to do Facebook ads on a webinar, you would show them, okay, this is how we target people, this is you know the creative we set up, et cetera, but you would not wanna take people into the back office of the Facebook Power Editor and walk them through all the various elements and show them all the buttons to press and create that sense of kind of technical overwhelm, right? Whenever you get into that kind of in the weeds, and you're getting that nitty gritty, what's gonna happen is people on the webinar are gonna get into a state of, oh my God, this looks amazing. I really wanna do this, but I don't think I can because then it looks really hard, right? And so you always kinda wanna play, you know, on that fine line of giving a lot of value, but not overwhelming and getting too technical in giving value. And I hope that makes sense. Let me know in the comments section if that makes sense when you're watching this video. And the third tip is to have an irresistible offer. All right. No matter how good your hook is, no matter how good your content is, if you have an offer that's meh, it's kind of sort of okay. 
well, you know, not many people are gonna buy, right? You wanna have the water to the person in the middle of the desert who has not drank for a week, right? You wanna have the thing that the person desires most, and so when you offer it up to them, it's very simply a no-brainer, right? And how you do that is A, you get crystal clear on who the person is that you're marketing to, you get crystal clear on what that person would want in a totally perfect world, and then you try to make your offer as close to that perfect world as humanly possible, right? We also wanna add in you know, maybe risk reversal. Let's add in a money back guarantee. Let's add in a money back guarantee. And if they're not happy, we'll send them $500 for wasting their time, right? How can we make the offer even more appealing? Let's let them know that it's tax deductible, right? Under the continued ed education clause, this is totally tax deductible. Once again, we wanna do everything with our offer to A, be exactly what they want, B, reduce friction and reduce risk as much as humanly possible so that once someone's on the webinar, they have the desire to go ahead and purchase from an emotional standpoint, and it's also, excuse me, the logical thing for them to do as the absolute no-brainer, kind of like, God, if I don't do this, I'm kind of a dummy, and uh, I will really regret it moving forward. And if you do those three things, you will get people on your webinar, people will stick on your webinar, People will have trust and desire built with you on the webinar, and then of course, you'll make a ton of sales. So with that said, I hope you got a ton of value out of today's video. If you did, let me know with a quick comment what your biggest takeaway was from this video. I shared a ton of value and got kind of nitty gritty with how to go ahead and host a winning webinar presentation. So please let me know what your biggest takeaway was in the comments section below. And as always, if you got value, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon notification button, and hit that thumbs up button so more awesome people just like you see my videos. With that said, hope you got a ton of value and I will see you in the next one.